people don't give you stress. We, we cannot change later. Bahasa, it's like a... What about your struggle? Asian people are soft. Can we say Bahasa in English? Mari kita test. Ladies and gentlemen, being exposed to another culture in another country will definitely change you. Just like what these international students who I'm about to interview are experiencing. Also, by the end of this video, you'll be more intrigued about Bahasa Indonesia. As more people are speaking it now, more than ever. Thank you for helping me out. Where are you from and what do you study here? Uh, well, I'm from Timor Leste and currently I study international relations. Bachelor's degree? Yeah, it's bachelor's degree. How long have you been in Indonesia for? I think for about two years. I'm from uh, Qinghai, China, and I'm studying here in the linguistic. Bachelor's degree? No, uh, master's. Oh, master. Yeah. Did you also do your bachelor's degree here? Not in this university, yeah. but in Indonesia. other, yeah. So how long have you been in Indonesia for? Almost eight years. Eight years. Yeah. I'm from Sudan. Now I'm doing my master's degree in Faculty of Medicine in Biomedical Science. I have been in Indonesia yeah. for all like three years. Did you also do your bachelor's degree here? Yeah, because my first bachelor's degree, I make like transfer, transfer from Sudan to Indonesia. I'm doing two years in Sudan and oh, two years in Indonesia okay. like this. What have you learned about the Indonesian culture? Specifically to the people's behavior here is actually kind of different from my own countries. So in our country, people's like the character is kind of like strong. But when I came here and I went for like holiday or something, the character of Indonesian people is soft. When I got to the shop and they really give really good service in there. The respect to the lectures and also the relaxing attitude. Because in China, everyone like uh, harsh. In here, it's like a... Uh, if using Bahasa, it's like a sandai. Sandai, yeah. Nice. And for the respect for the lectures, in China, we also respect the lectures, teachers. But in here, the way to show the respect is uh, very different. The respect, another one, like when we come give greeting, greeting like give respectable by like this is good things, I think that because in another country, it's not common, something like that. And also uh, the culture. Uh, especially about the traditional dance also really good and unique many different dancing here because i saw many celebration in the bali in the mm. blitar they mm. have different kind of dancing and this is full of culture here step daira every places we have own culture something like that that every place they have traditional food also it is also it's like inak it is also it's very delicious here what is your favorite food gado 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 yeah have you been influenced by any aspect of indonesian culture yeah i think my attitude to mm. difficulties yeah because uh, at the beginning i'm the person who need to push myself like uh, i need to finish all the things immediately but after several years yeah. with my friends here they taught me like don't do things in hush in in rush you need to do it slowly yeah uh -uh, yeah okay. not just uh, like that kind of sunday but they teach me don't do something uh, in the rush take you, your time. yeah you need to take your time you need to prepare do you think it's a good thing yeah of course it's a good thing yeah the behavior so i was kind of like maybe not that suffered before uh -huh. but when i came here and interact with indonesian people my behavior kind of changed a little bit i think so and the way i speak also tends to be more softer yeah <laughs> because like indonesian people they speak soft so it's a fact the way I speak to it. Before I came to Indonesia, I was, I was a nervous, but here now I'm getting calm. I, because here all people, because the life is, the people don't give you stress, <laughs> something like that. This is good things. I get it from Indonesia to lower my stress and get mm -hmm. like uh, Santai, like, Santa. yeah, yeah. In Indonesia, what can you do besides studying? I like to travel to many places okay. here, yeah. Because uh, this, I think this is chance for me to see Indonesia. Because even in my holiday, I go to many places, like many states, for example, Sorapaya, Blitar. Because really, every 
place in Indonesia is different from another, different totally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that make you to interest to see another place. I also go for travel, so I have visited Bromo. And then the waterfall in Malang also really good, like Tumpak Sewu, it's also really good. So. Helping other Indonesian to learn uh, Mandarin, because there's uh, so many Chinese company here, so they need many Indonesian who can speak Mandarin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they ask me help them to practice the Mandarin. What about your struggle? What do you usually struggle with as an international student in Indonesia? At the beginning of my arriving here, of course the language. Mm. Yeah, because not all the people uh, speak Indonesia. In Malang and uh, in the East Jawa, they yeah. using Javanese. Yeah, 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 Javanese more. But uh, it's okay. Yeah. A lot of people help me mm. a lot. I think language is the most one. I know normal conversation in Indonesia, but when I enter the academy activity, of course, we need to use a ta- academic language. Mm. And that language is the barrier for me when I first time to came here and started here. The language. The first things when I came here, struggle language because even I'm study pharmacy and mm-hmm. they use a lot of words in English, but also culture on the class you cannot understand because sometimes they speak Bahasa Jawa. But by time I progress my language, okay. I get good in the Bahasa. I can understand Bahasa after maybe after six months. You mentioned about struggle in language do you think is it necessary to know indonesian for international students for the university you need to learn indonesia to get or to understand the lecture very fast mm. even you 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 know a little bit about about indonesian language you can be good in the class you can understand mm. from the teacher it depends on the class i mean i think some of the class provides in english and some of the class provide in indonesia do you have indonesian friends of course of course, absolutely. I have Indonesian friends. Not a lot, but I do have some. A lot of Indonesian friends. Is it easy or hard to make Indonesian friends? First time. But when I get into the culture, yeah. I think it's getting more easier than before. I think it's uh, easy, but um, I'm not that person who uh, like hung out a lot. So It's easy. For me, it's easy. Because the people in Indonesia like acceptable like if you go to the street you find someone hello hello okay uh, next time you yeah. can discuss with you everything you can ask like this okay you can invite you to join mm. him to drink coffee something yes. like that by any chance do you speak indonesian yeah i know how to speak indonesia benar bisa bisa sedikit mari kita tes tolong sebutkan satu hal positif dan satu hal negatif tentang berkuliah di indonesia Jalurnya mudah dan manfaatnya banyak di sini dalam kuliah dalam masyarakat. Sepertinya tidak ada <laughs> negatif, positif. Bisa dapat teman banyak. Orang-orangnya ramah. Yang negatif itu makanannya itu yang enggak terlalu nyantol di lidah. Contohnya kan orang Indo suka makan yang pedas-pedas banget gitu. And then I think gula also. Itu bukan negatif sih sebenarnya, tapi lebih larinya kepada akunya aja yang bisa menyesuaikan diri gitu. Apa orang-orang Timur Lesti bisa bahasa Indonesia semua? Kita tahu bahasa Indonesia mungkin lebih larinya kepada the way how we talk. Kita ngerti, tapi untuk ngomongnya itu agak yang susah. Mungkin ada beberapa yang ngomong, tapi logat-logatnya bukan kayak orang Indo, nggak nggak terlalu pasti-pasti banget. But we, we mostly we understand Indonesia. Negatif. <laughs> <laughs> Kalau untuk saya sekarang nggak. Karena saya bisa bahasa Indonesia, oh, tapi okay. kalau dulu ya bahasa, negatifnya bahasa, ya. bahasa. Tapi sekarang nggak lebih mudah semua untuk okay. saya. That's all. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, thank you very much ya. See you.